Hello friends, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to take a look at how we install Elasticsearch on our Ubuntu uh, 20.04 uh, box. So I am using DigitalOcean server over here. Uh, so if you want to sign up for DigitalOcean, I will provide a link in the down, uh, in the description. So after signing up, you will get a hundred dollar credit for uh, sixty days. So do sign up for uh, trying it out and let's get started so the first thing that you need to do is uh, you need to run app update and and app upgrade to see if there are any pending updates that needed to be installed so i have uh, no pending updates on my server so just uh, clear it out and now we need to install some dependencies that are needed for the installation of Elasticsearch. So the first thing that you need to install is curl and app, app transport https. Uh, these commands will be given in the description. And the next thing is we need to add the Elasticsearch repositories uh, public GPG, uh, GPG key in our uh, system. So just uh, paste this command over here and if you get anything other than okay that means that there is some kind of error or you didn't install the dependencies that you need so make sure uh, that you do that the next thing is we need to add the source uh, repositories source list into our sources file so just run this command and it will add uh, the sources in our repository and then just run app get update to, to see if the repository has been correctly added so as you can see over here we are pulling data from their repository that means we have uh, successfully added the gpg key and the repository and the ne next thing is we need to install elasticsearch and we are going to install version 7.7.1 .7 and just hit enter so I misspell the spelling and now it should install and it is going to take uh, some time depending on the uh, internet connection that you are having so as I am using a cloud server so the internet connection on a VPS is much better than a local internet connection. So once this is installed, what you need to do is we need to edit some uh, things in the configuration to make Elasticsearch actually work. So for that, just type nano slash etc Elasticsearch and Elasticsearch.yml and hit enter. And over here we need to uh, first uncomment a few things so scroll down and, uh, you will see a commented line where it uh, says network host over here you can see that and we are going to change it to 0.0.0.0, .0, .0 so that we are able to access it over the internet and second thing we need to enable is node.main that is over here so just on comment this to make sure you have all the necessary information in your uh, Elasticsearch response to make sure you are getting a response from a valid node or the node that you know and the next thing you need to uncomment is the clustering and node uh, section so that you know if your server is running in a cluster environment or not just save the file and after that we need to reload the system ctr daemon and now we will enable the elasticsearch service so that it runs whenever our system reboots
and the next thing is we need to start the elastic shape so just run this command and it is going to take a few seconds uh, to spin it up service has started so just to see uh, if some errors were created or not so just run status to be on the safe side if there was an if there were any error we can just solve them uh, by uh, checking the status of the service and after uh, that's done we need to verify if it is actually running so run, uh, just run curve http just from curl http and local host 9200 and hit enter and if you get a response like this that that means that your elastic search service is running perfectly and now we can access it over our uh, over the internet from our browser so for that what you need is the ip address of your box in my case the ip address is this just copy that and go to your browser and the port should be 9200 and hit enter and you will see the response uh, over here that means that your elasticsearch instance is working and now you can store data in your elasticsearch instance so thanks for watching and do subscribe to our channel like this video comment if you have any questions and i will see you in the next video